first of all, has anybody ever seen a problem like this before? Where they don't give you what the whole thing is. They tell you, hey, this percent is for this, this percent is for that. Find the information. But they never give you the original. It's like you have the formula percent times original equals the result, but you don't have the original. Right? You've seen problems like that? Thank you. Okay, cool. So if you've seen problems like this, here's what I'm going to do for you. Uh, I'm going to show you that this is actually a proportion question. So for those of you that have studied proportions with me before, and if you're in my courses or program, that should be an automatic yes, because proportions comes before percents. So I have to ask you a quick question, everybody. <laughs> um, the question is this. If we're going to be looking at proportions, what's the main idea for proportions? Land it, thank you. Spot on. Compare the same things in the same way. Sounds good. So when it comes to proportions, let me write this down again, right over here. Something that we're going to be referring to. Let me write this in blue. So proportions. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. Compare the same things in the same way. Okay, so write that down, have that written down. This is going to be very important. Compare the same things in the same way. We've done ratios and proportions before. Some of us very recently with me, some of us maybe outside of me, totally fine. But I'm going to show you exactly how that idea for proportions, that main idea, translates this problem 1000%. And once you see what's going on, you're going to be like, oh, wow, there were a couple of questions on the ASVAB that or or my test that I could have gotten. So let's go ahead and take a look here. First, what are we looking for? Well, the question says, hey, how much goes towards rent? How much money? Look at the answer choices, money. So I'm gonna write that down. I'm looking for what I want is money for rent. Is that fair to you, everybody? We're looking for the amount of money for rent. Cool, sounds good, no harm, no foul, right? We're there. So next, here's what we've got going on. What I noticed in this question was that, okay, it says 28% of your monthly income goes towards rent. So let me write this down here. 28% of income equals rent. Okay. And then what does it say next? It says, let me just highlight that in red there. Then it says in blue, 6% goes toward the electric bill. Okay, let me write that down. 6% of my income equals electric bill. Okay, so here on the left side, we have a percentage. And on the right side, we have a utility bill. Okay, so this, this is comparing the same things in the same way because the income is the same things. A percentage of your income is the bill. Percentage of your income is the bill. Does anybody here or does everybody here see what I'm saying here? We're comparing the same things the same way. We're giving the percent for the rent. We're looking for the amount of the rent. They give us the percent of the electric bill. We actually have the amount of the electric bill right here. This is a proportion. This is a proportion because we're looking for this and they give us, what was it again, 462? Yep, 462. We are comparing the same things in the same way here. This is a proportion. 28 to 
the variable, 6% to 462. If we set up our proportion, remember everybody, all you have to do with your proportion is just compare the same things in the same way. This is getting a little bit off topic from percents, but again, proportions was the topic before this. So hopefully this is a refresher, hopefully. But this would be set up like this. 28% over X, which would be this right here, equals 6% compared to 462. Is that good with everybody? Does that make sense? We have the percent up top, money on bottom, percent up top, money on bottom. So now that we have the proportion set up, typically a lot of people like going with the cross multiplication and division method. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There are some mental math ways that we could set up, but we're just gonna go ahead and keep it fairly simple for now. And we'll simply go ahead and um, cross multiply and divide. So with that cross multiplic uh, multiplication, we have x times six. Everyone x times six, that's gonna be what? Six x, that's correct. And then we have 28 times 462. Who knows that off the top of their head? Nobody didn't think so. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate by hand here, just like if this was the test, if we needed to. So 462 multiplied by 28. And so whether this is your first or 50th YouTube video of mine, it doesn't matter. Why don't you join me for a live class? That way you can ask questions, raise your score and get the job you want for free. Again, I host classes once a week on Zoom, typically on Mondays. So go ahead and click the link up there, down here somewhere, register for free, and you get my free practice test that has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. That's what it's all about here, my party people. I wanna help you succeed, so don't hesitate. Sign up for free, and then let's get back to this problem here. Let's keep raising our scores. All right, so we're gonna have two times eight. That'll go ahead and end up being 16. Six times eight, that'll be 48, so we'll carry the one that's a nine. Four times eight, that'll be 32, carry the one that's 33. Or excuse me, 32, carry the four, that's 36. From there, we're gonna put the zero down. Then we got two times two, that'll be four. Six times two, that'll be 12. And then we have four times two, that'll be eight, carry the one, that is a nine. So then we add all of this up and we'll have six, 13, then we have eight, nine, then we have 12. So we have 12,936. Okay, that's a lot, but hey, that's, that's, that's fair, cool. Now everybody, what's the last thing we need to do to solve this? We have six X equals a massive number. What's the last thing we need to do? Yeah, that's gonna be divided by six. Um, you know, guys, no matter what the number is, same process. Same process, we cross multiplied, now we're gonna divide, sure it was a massive number, whatever, but we're good. We're gonna divide both sides by six. And once we do that, we can do that off to the side or wherever really, I'll go ahead and just take this, put that over there, and then we'll divide six into, okay, so six goes into 12 two times. Then six goes into nine once. Then we bring the three down. Six goes into 33 five times. And then six goes into 36 six times. So we have 2156 there. And so that would end up being X equals $2,156. And so that would represent the 28%. That would represent what you pay for rent. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.